Here we are, again, with this character. Uh, it's been a while, and you know what? Vala has a new skin, and I got this cool surfboard, so we're going to do it. Today's teams, Genji, Sergeant Hammer, Vala, Butcher, Abather versus Ragnaros, who apparently has a zero second death timer, Zul, Gul'dan, Tassadar, and Jaina. We are going to shoot so many arrows, so many people are going to, I don't know. Uh, so, our whole cop, since we don't have a tank, is going to be kind of focused on uh, feeding into the Butcher. Uh, I'm so glad the Discord notifications are off. Um, anyway, what was I saying? So, at level 1, I took the... Why am I on Sergeant Hammer? What? There we go. Everything's correct now. Level 1, I took Hot Pursuit. What this is going to do... Not that I'm good at it, but what this is going to do... When we hit 10 stacks of Hatred, which is our trait, we're going to move 20% faster, and we're going to regen mana a bit better. I don't know what you're paying me for. It's kind of, uh... Whatever. But, uh... I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not the greatest auto-attacker in the world. So, can we, can we get in there? Ah, oh, I rolled forward. Oh, come on, Genji. Oh. Uh, you see, if our hammer had uh, actually not gone into siege mode there, we probably could have killed the Tassadar by just running at him and auto-attacking. So, uh, that's kind of what Vala is all about, stutter stepping. If you not good at it, you should get good at it to play this hero. She does have a couple builds. Only two of them are really good. Oh my god, I walked all through that. Don't play the auto attack build for Vala because it's bad, it's trap. The multi shot build and the uh, Q build are where most of your power comes from on this character. Specifically, the Q build is going to be good on objective maps where you have to kill a monster or a uh, boss or, or you know hold down lanes in such a way like BOE can we get him didn't get him cannot believe that arrow didn't kill him and that hammer just kind of stood in the entirety of the blizzard the Jane damage so that's a thing that happened uh no no talents on our Genji and our hammer yet for level four there we go. I'm still a little bit confused when I play quick match that I, I can get paired with people. Get them. There we go. Um, who don't know how to do things like stutter step and control click for talents so you have them right away. Um, maybe it's just a learning thing. Maybe I'm just, you know, overanalyzing it. But that kind of pisses me off. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, shrines are coming up. We want to fight for the bottom one because we should just be trading the top two. I don't know if that's actually going to happen because it's quick match and people like to fight over dumb shit. Let's go poke Jaina. There we go. We got half her. We got three quarters of her health bar with an Abathur hat and our full combo. In that cool. At level four, we took punishment, which is going to increase our multi-shot damage. Uh, the more that we are stacked up on our hatred. Uh, it is 4% per stack, so you can increase it by 40% if you got full stacks. And it ain't nothing to sneeze at, let me tell you what. That's a lot of damage, and considering how much damage comes off of your Q and your auto attacks normally, it's pretty good. Um, Vala is a lot of fun. I should have just let Genji do that. I let him do it that time, but my hammer's gonna die. I didn't have any stacks, so that multi-shot was just bare bones. You wanna fight? You will fight? Let's go. Uh, well, it looks like you killed me, so... I'm out! Just gonna tap real quick. Gonna lose all of our hatred stacks because I wasn't good enough at... dodging any of Gul'dan's shit. But, we have successfully routed the enemy team. Three people dead. I'm just gonna channel. At level 7, we took Arsenal. Arsenal launches some grenades on top of our multi-shot. And if they hit heroes... The cooldown of the multi-shot is reduced. By two seconds. It's not too shabby. You manage to, like, uh, shotgun someone with your multi-shot from point blank and get all three grenades on them. 
you have effectively halved the cooldown of your W. That's pretty neat. Uh, and then if you're at 10 stacks of hatred when you do that, I mean, you're probably gonna light somebody up. I'm just being real with you. Crossbows are cooler than guns. See if we can get the gank on this cool Dan. Roll forward, walk and shoot, walk and shoot, and we got him. Abathur hat didn't even get my full stacks. Only got to five, which is a pretty good way to keep track of how you're, uh, how much you're auto attacking. Now that I think about it. So uh, let's just. I probably should have started auto attacking and then used the multi shot to clear the wave. So I can get more damage and clear it faster, obviously. But I wasn't thinking about that because I'm not normally a Vala player. Oh! Uh, one thing I'm going to circle back to that I said in the beginning, though don't ever take the auto build. It's not good. It's just not. Especially if you're not like the tip top tier of. Uh, ranged DPS player in the game like there's not a whole lot of situations where you're gonna make something like that work effectively because I'm decent at this game and I'm dropping hatred stacks like a motherfucker and uh, that is kind of something that you need to be extremely capable of when playing this hero especially if you're gonna play a not optimal build See if we can stop the old Gul'dan here. Running him down. Got five stacks. Think we're gonna lose. Stop the channel. Get the fucking multi shot. No more mana. Can't stop these guys. I don't know why I went up here. There's three people. I'm probably not gonna die because they're gonna leave me alone. Now we have the vault. We're out. Everything is PG keen. Um. We have three people. Well, we have two people in Nabithur top. And I have three people bottom with a whole bunch of minions. I'm just trying to put down as much AoE as I can, but because I don't have any mana or a well to tap, Abathur is going to do me a huge favor with the clone. I'm going to try and just... Hey, look at that! He popped onto my head and then suddenly Zul dies. And Tassadar goes down too. We got Jaina also. Look at that! We're such a good team. Boing. I'm just clicking all over the place with this character. Uh, which is something I should not be doing. You should be very deliberate in your stutter stepping and your auto attacking. So you can get the most value out of where you position with this character. And DPS heroes, or uh, auto attack heroes in general, honestly. Get the globes. Oh my god, you didn't get the globes. I'm just leaving. I'm sure you can get out your Genji. Got the tower. I'm gonna try to lay down some suppressive fire. And I gotta get away now. I have the 20% move speed. Yeah. 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 We're out. Now we're slow. Ah, <sighs> Genji got out too. Everything's fine. We're just gonna tap. I don't know why you're just standing there taking tower shots. Got him. Probably could have just opened with the Reign of Vengeance there instead, but I think that guy just walked away from his keyboard for some reason. Go over to that bush and stop this from happening. Going into siege mode on top of the objective doesn't do anything. Because you're basically standing on top of me. And you're going to die walking around in circles. I mean, that's really... Okay. That's a thing. That's the way that people play, I guess. So, we're still sitting at about negative mana. Um, Tassadar dodging all my shit. We took Gloom at at uh, level 13 to block some of the spell damage. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I took Rain of Vengeance at 10. Because that's the thing that I do. I don't really like Strafe. I mean, I like Strafe because it's cool looking, but I don't like playing with it. Um, trying to look at what's going on. Abathur's still in the top lane. Rag is apparently still having trouble dealing with that. We're going to go catch the mid-soak because I know more is coming. Can we get there? Can we get there? Ooh! Is that a cool Dan? Can we 
we get him? Can we get him? We're gonna pop the gloom. Wow, I really did not do much. Got him. Went down to some minions, but as long as he dies too, I'm okay. What was the actual? Yeah, Nexus forces. It was minions that killed me because Vala has no health. Ah. Um, but what uh, what gloom does is an activatable. It's basically a uh, spell shield. So we have 20 spell armor all the time, but uh, what we can do is when we have, ouch, that was a lot of damage. Uh, when we have uh, stacks of hatred, okay. if we hit the button, we eat them all and we get more spell armor. So I think with the talent you can have up to 50 spell armor. Three spell armor per hatred stack consumed. Yeah. So 30 times 10. I mean, 3 times 10 is 30. Why are you all... Oh. So, um, when you're playing a game and there is a person already channeling an objective, what you want to do is go onto the other objective. There we go. Getting them. Knocking them down. Lost her Sergeant Hammer because he doesn't seem to know that, you know, you don't have to be in siege mode your entire life. There's still three of us here, four of us here with the Abathur clone against two people. Gonna pop on that Ragnaros. He's going down. Abathur getting all the kills. Wow, I never noticed how cool that portrait is for uh, Nekavala. I love this skin, BTW. The way that she shoots the missiles out of her back with the Reign of Vengeance, I think is awesome. Uh, so we've got our 20 permanent spell armor as well. And at level 16, we took Manticore. Now this is um, this is a talent tier where you have a little bit of room to decide. Even if you're building uh, WQ auto attack, whatever you want, like whatever you're comfortable with, you can pick plenty. I took Manticore for that specific reason because I like having some intermittent burst damage. Um, so what it's going to do is give us uh, five percent of their health as damage every third auto attack but I can also get away with taking uh, frost shot which increases the uh, range of our W and slows people by a not insignificant amount uh, and then since we've been building multi shot all the way up to this point anyway it's still doable and it's a decent amount of CC in case people get onto us um, Seething Hatred, also very, very good, because you get your, um, you get your Hatred stacks much faster, and they last much longer, so that gives us the ability to get our Gloom back quicker, that gives us the ability to get our move speed going, it is, it's not, um, it's not easy to pick between all three of these talents, because they are very, very good. I think Manticore is usually what I go with just because I like to um, get that damage, but Seething Hatred also seems like it would be super useful. And I didn't read it during this game, so I, uh, I knew less and less about what I was getting myself into. I'm just getting, I didn't think that they were going to completely throw away the bottom shrine, but what do I know? People in quick match don't like to make decisions about things. Looks like our Abathur is down. Our actual Butcher may be going as well. Oh my god, the Abathur got on him. Just in time. You gonna stop? Yeah. Alright. Now we can't do much else. The other cool thing about Seething Hatred would have been uh, that it would have stacked our multi-shot damage faster. Good to kill Genji. I see you, Tassadar. I'm fucking sick of your shit. I might die. Dead. Damn. Looks like Genji is just cleaning up in the back with the Abathur, though. Not really anything for us to worry about. Yeah, get him. Get him. I think you're going to die. You're going to die. Damn. Almost got him. Almost got him. Good thing our Sergeant Hammer was down in the bottom lane taking that forth forever. Butcher got enough time to get back, though, and we are level 20 to their 17, so as long as my friendlies pick talents... Oh, look at that. Abathur, Butcher, and Genji all on top of it. I am still deciding. 
cannot figure. Okay, yep. We're gonna take Farflight Quiver because we took um, Manticore, and that's gonna increase our auto attack range, making it easier for us to stack the Manticore onto people who are super far away. Are you gonna die? Oh my god, that was you almost did. Oh, it's funny stuff. Butcher trying to hit the heap. Failing miserably against the Zul and his auto attack slower. His sight, his W, the thing where he swings and he makes you go, Ooh. you know, that thing. Now he's dead. Apparently the Zul is, is, must be new. Like, that's, that's at least the third time I've seen him just stand there and eat a whole bunch of damage just because he felt like it. We got the top keep down. We only have seven shots to go onto the enemy team score to win the game. See if we can clear out this wave, get things pushing on the mid. Ow. You didn't hit me. Oh my god, I, I lost my stacks. Had I not lost my stacks, he would be dead. Gonna put on our gloom. Um... Trying to dodge, trying to dip, duck, dive, dick out of there. There we go. We made it. We lived. Everything's fine. Sergeant Hammer dies. Not like it was really a surprise. But we did get the sappers in on the uh, top fort because we took it. And then we took the camp. So we only have five shots to go now. And Abathur's in the bottom lane securing the win for us because the enemy team has no idea how this game works. GG. Isn't that funny? Isn't that cool how that works? So you could just use your little slug body and teleport anywhere on the map and then end the game? That's, that's cool. That's cool. So, there you have it. Look at how beautiful this skin is. It's just so cool looking. Honestly. Uh, Vala, at the end of the day, is a hyper carry. So, if you are playing her, if you are building her right, if you are doing it correctly, you will be able to carry a team of less than impressive players. Um, on top of that, though, she does require a fair amount of support, so if your team is running it down, things are going to get immensely more difficult. Here are the stats, 47,000 in the hero damage category, 9 kills and 2 deaths, which is exactly how it should be. Look at Abbott, they're 7 and 0. Uh, here are the talents at level 1, Hot Pursuit, level 4, forgot what it's called, Punishment, and then Arsenal at 7, Reign of Vengeance at 10, Gloom is 13, Manticore 16, though, like I said, this is a fun talent tier, pick whatever you like, Far Flight Clever, Far Fight, blah, 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 Far Flight Quiver at level 20, because we took the Manticore. Uh, if I had taken Seething Hatred at 16, I would have taken... There's an attack speed increase talent. I can't remember what the fuck it's called. But I would have taken that at here. Because basically you only have to auto attack 5 times with Seething Hatred. And then your auto attack speed would go like ultimate through the roof. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. This is beautiful, even though I have a, a Xenotech Slugman on my team. But look at all the green. Isn't that cool? I like it. Anyway, I will...